Hi there, it's Shell. I am doing a continuation of yesterday's video. I'm still outside, but um, I'm letting papers dry. <laughs> so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. Uh, today we're going to use watercolors. Um, I showed these yesterday, but we never did get to them. And I hope these are still good. They feel kind of <laughs> pliable, so hopefully they will be. This is just a cheaper watercolor. It's Artist's Loft, and uh, my friend gave this to me. And she, um, oh, I guess I did use it. She uh, sent it to me, and, you know, I've been doing some watercoloring, learning some watercolor classes and stuff, and I don't want to use my really good watercolors. So these, and there's a bunch of these same shades, like here's two cobalt blues, uh, here's a lemon yellow kind of picking out the colors I want for this next journal here's a violet and I just kind of wanted to show you guys different ways to make up some paper uh, crimson red might work for a pink so these are really um, Viridian these are really kind of primary colors is that what they're called you guys know so you have to mix and match to get your color that you want like I want pink and a light blue and but how many colors are in here this is 25 I think 24 two of each oh okay so there's two of each color so there's crimson red violet Chinese white I'm not gonna use the white cobalt blue crimson black I'm not gonna use the black Prussian blue, vermilion. What is vermilion? Okay, it's kind of like an orangey color. I'm not going to use that one. It's an, um, I think a darker tone. Okay, so, but I figure why my um, distress inks and stuff are drying, and I still have time. The wind's not crazy yet. <laughs> we'll kind of play with watercolors. Um, you know, I did pick up a lot of the papers because they were dry, so I should have some good places to, um, to stack these here in a minute. So, this is Crimson Red. Oh, good, and they're still, I've had them in my Hobby Lobby shed, <laughs> which is what I call it. Um. You know through the winter and stuff and so I wasn't sure if they would freeze or not since they're watercolors and I'm just gonna play I'm not gonna put too much thought into it that one's kind of goopy huh and um, but I do have a lot of this one's not any good this one is cobalt blue Let's see if I have another blue. Hmm, huh, that's interesting. I don't have blue then. So let's see what else we have because both of those have dried up. So, Chinese white. Didn't they say there was another blue in here? Well, we'll make the best of it. That's all you can do, huh? Who knows? I might not have as much to play with as I thought. That's okay though, because here's yellow. Hmm. Of course, you could make blue, you know, or yellow. No, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That one is probably not any good either. So it's good to use your supplies. Um, you know, I've been taking some courses from Lindsay. I've been doing uh, drawing courses right now. And I go in. I want to see if I can't squeeze some more. Maybe if I just add water. Squeeze some more of this yellow. But um, somebody was talking about how they don't like to use their products because they feel like they waste them. And, you know, I thought Lindsay responded really well because she says, you know, you're wasting them by leaving them on a... Um, on a shelf or whatever I mean like I can't even use these blue ones they're totally can you hear that totally um, hard so 
still have my distress inks and stuff here. If I need blue, we can make it work, right? Oh, there must have been <laughs> some of that um, stuff in there. Oh, good grief, Michelle. It's all over. Oh, well. So all these are going to be mixed with blue. So those color bursts I used must have ran into these. This will be a fun project. <laughs> Why not, huh? So, and what I'm going to do is just use some really, like, uh, not uh, exciting paint brushes. You know, I don't want to use anything good for this because I don't want to run mine. Because, you know, some of the ones I have are kind of expensive. So, that's a bummer. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. So, I just want to... That one's not a good brush either. I use this a lot for Mod Podge. <laughs> Okay, I have another one down in here. Just cheap brushes, you know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're just kind of kind of play. Oh, I should pause it. Hold on just one second. Sorry, I don't know what he's doing. I poured out my water. <laughs> Oh, you guys. But yeah, I do have another set that has some really cheap watercolors in it. It's kind of funny because my sister gave me, I asked her for a specific kind of watercolors. And when you're, you know, you're crafty and you have everything, then you want a specific set, you know. And uh, she brought me, she bought me, I mean, a really nice set, but it's one of those really like for children eight and under or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have some other watercolors I could use I don't know I just thought we would play and just kind of give you guys some you know some different ideas now on this one I'm gonna sprinkle some salt but you know what let me pick up some of these papers that are dry so I have a place to put them and I'll be right back okay sorry it looks like my shadows are moving huh so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle salt on this. For salt to work, this is something I learned from Lindsay. It really needs to be wet. And what it's going to do is kind of dry around those salt crystals. Kind of make like a starburst effect almost. This is kosher salt. And that just means that, you know, you have small pieces, large pieces in it. So try to move this but I wanted to show you that technique but I probably won't like put the salt on here until I get it <laughs> like sitting over here where I need it to stay oh that wasn't horrible put a rock on it you can hear Clint down there working we're just going to kind of play was there anything on the back of that one yeah maybe huh okay but I wanted to see what I thought of the different styles and the different um, paints and stuff. One thing I learned is you don't want to, you want to use your project, products, because look at this mess. <laughs> that one's kind of goopy, and truthfully, after I'm done, I'll probably just toss it, but, um, or not. I might keep them because, you know, it's not a horrible, I mean, it's perfect for something like this. So really so I really don't want brush strokes so what I'm doing is kind of um, because I want it to look as organic as possible and that just means nothing you know when you're looking at nature nothing's perfect in nature so I want it to be as organic as you know as possible it's a big old clump right there but this is really good this would be perfect for children you know if you have kiddos that are bored right now um, throw them outside and just have them put some color on paper doesn't have to be anything fancy Whoa. <laughs> there's a lot of water on this one so I'm just going to put it over here, try not to lose my water, 
and then again I'm going to sprinkle it with some salt. I know this is uh, common sense, but you don't want to use the salt that you're going to eat later. I mean, you can eat, you can use that, but put it in a different dish. <laughs> Unless you're really tidy. <laughs> and you sprinkle it from a salt shaker, I guess. But I think this is a better salt because it's coarser and it'll kind of soak in, um, you know, some of that stuff. So let's try pink. Add some more water. I had to dump all that water because it was all blue. And I would love some pink. Let's just kind of, yeah, look at that. Got some purple, some green. Ooh, that's actually a pretty effect, isn't it? Let's just do that. <laughs> I couldn't do this in the house because you guys know I have the cats. And these cats out here, we do have cats outside. And they're not as um, friendly. Our old lady cat just passed, we think. We haven't seen her in about four days. So we looked for her. I think she went somewhere and passed. So... Now the problem with mixing this, I don't know if you guys can tell, is it's really muddy looking. So I'm going to take a paper towel. And one of, the, one of you talented people have used these paper towels. And they redid it. I can't remember who it was because I had so much going on this week. But they redid it or let them dry and then made them into yo-yos which is a fabulous idea because you know that's pretty so may as well set my paper towels over here to dry <laughs> um still not thrilled with that it doesn't have enough it has too much oh man i don't know clean your brush michelle oh geez guys this is fun <laughs> So, like I said, I've been taking some of Lindsay's courses. Uh, occasionally, she has them 50% off. I got all of them but one, and now I'm regretting not getting the other one. And I'm just taking, right now I'm taking some drawing courses that she offers, or a drawing course. And, because um, I was telling Clint, you know, I've done watercolors and everything, but I never did the basics. Of drawing I never learned the basics and this is kind of learning the basics I'm learning so much in her course and I highly recommend it if you guys don't um, want to learn more you know because it helps on all you know aspects of art um, you know watercolor things like that I just wanted some pink in here I don't know okay clean your brush I do have a brush cleaner over here to the side I'm gonna move this and I think we're gonna put salt on it so let me move this I'm gonna try to keep as much water as possible so really I'm just making a mess today because this is I think this is a lot messier than uh, my other project the ones we did in yesterday's video and it might just be because um you know my paints aren't hanging out that well but plus i'm trying to be careful but you really need that water because if you have it too dry it's not going to soak it up the way you want it to but i'm going to let that paper towel dry and i was thinking i could just use it again and again layer some colors on top of it But, you know, perhaps you don't have the stuff that I have. And you kind of want to get the same kind of effect. Then you could totally just use watercolors. You could use, you could dye some fruits and vegetables. That's really big right now, I've noticed. And, uh, <clears throat> um, food coloring is a choice. You could even do it with coffee dye paper. You know, so use coffee, like different strengths of coffee. That'd be pretty cool. I don't have really blue, do I? Uh, it's turquoise -y. What I'm doing on this one, just to kind of give you a little bit of guidance. 
which you know is that's kind of pretty though is um i'm doing a half, a half page so i'm doing half blue half red ish whatever and um that way when we if we do use it for a journal you have like a full a total you know opposite page or whatever so I love that design isn't that cool okay so I'm gonna move this again too and we're gonna put salt on it the soft ones because they're so wet they don't seem to be drying as well so I am going to put this rock on top of that paper move this over here if it's not wet enough for your liking then by all means just kind of spray it down again because like I said you really have to have salt to make a um, impression with um, you have to have water to make an impression with the salt so kind of fun so I'm just using all different kinds of things. We do have chickens, which I thought it'd be really fun to take the feathers. However, when feathers get wet, <laughs> they get kind of clumpy. So I wasn't sure, you know, what I would think of that. So let's do some yellow. I still want some more yellow. Did I spray that? I didn't spray that. But I had the worst migraines this week. I don't know why. But it was like a weekly thing. And we had to go down to town on Tuesday just to sign a piece of paper at the doctor's office. Seriously, took us five minutes. And then we went grocery shopping and stuff. So and that kind of did me in. I was kind of like, I'm tired. And poor Clint. He's been working so hard and still making videos for you guys. I know we don't have to, but we really love it. And... You know, we had the new um, watercolor journal. It's too purple on this side. And um, that was really fun. And sometimes when we get kind of inspired to do something, like Clint, a lot of times he's like, I don't have any inspiration. I'm like, oh, do this or do that. And then he does, you know. And so he just wants to do it and have fun with it. And wanted to chat with you guys. He hasn't got a chance to chat with you guys for a while. And he's still really hurting. Today's really bad. I kept telling him, "Hun, just, just relax for a little bit. Oh, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done." So I told him, "I will come help you," but I seriously don't know what I could have done. You know, because of my back. So, um, do we want to do? Let's do red on this side. I don't know. Just kind of thinking in terms of a junk journal. So one side won't have any um, salt because, you know, I can't put salt on both sides when one side's down, <laughs> obviously. But I did see somebody who used salt water. So they like dissolved water into the salt. I think I'm going to put salt on the other side. Or maybe I'll just leave it. That's kind of interesting. I'll just leave this one. I'll we'll pile it up over here. Um, but she used salt water, which I thought was really kind of interesting to use. Um, there was a little bit of a change. I couldn't really see a lot. But I thought it was kind of an interesting concept, you know. I don't know. It's just me watching, you know. I think I'm going to put some water in the red and in the yellow one. I have to go get more water. Yellow's kind of got some green in it, but try not to get too much too much mud. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I need more water. So I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go grab some more water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went in and filled this up with some water. That's not too bad. Kind of still looking like mud, isn't it? I think greens and reds are on the end of us, so they're canceling each other out. 
so I'm not that thrilled with that so use my handy dandy kind of dry <laughs> paper towel okay so not too thrilled with that so far I'm really loving the other you know techniques but you know you may not have the choice of um, you know the kind of splotchy um, the color burst or the distress inks but you have something else you could use you know by all means use that maybe I like that best kind of pick and choose what I want to put where as long as I have plenty of water <laughs> it comes off the brush pretty good <laughs> Oh, I tell you guys, you never know until you try, huh? But if you're going to do this part, <laughs> then you may want to stay outside and do it. It's starting to get warm now. The wind hasn't picked up, even though it's supposed to, you know, be like 35 miles an hour today. I'm going to set this aside, try to keep my water on it, and uh, put some salt on it, I think. That'll be kind of fun. I actually like that one. I wasn't too thrilled with those other ones, but... But you kind of just want to play until you're happy with what you have, you know? I mean... I'm going to both sides of this. I mean, with crafting, you know, I say this often, there are no rules. So, you know, do your thing. Do what you want to do. If you have something in your head that you want to create, then by all means, do it. Um, like I said, I'm taking the, the uh, drawing course. And I go and I look to see what other people have done too because, you know, I'm nosy. And <laughs> um Kind of, sometimes, you know, you read things that kind of makes you sad, but this one person was talking about how they drew a picture of their dad, um, a portrait, you know, and her, her dad just kind of um, totally ruined her want to learn more because he said, well, it doesn't look anything like me. It's awful, you know, and I'm thinking, how sad that you can, you know, tell your children <laughs> something like that or tell another person you know be encouraging if you're you know even if it doesn't look great <laughs> I tell Clint that a lot don't I and this is a junk journal for goodness sake you, we don't have to put a lot of <laughs> perfection into it right kind of doing the edges because I think you know for a full page that'd be kind of neat it did tear but that doesn't bother me not that concerned so just kind of playing see what we can come up with this one probably won't be that long of a video I don't know how long it's been okay let me find a place my one picture over there looks almost dry and that one has salt on it so just rearrange some over here and we'll put that one on top I'm over here on my ladder <laughs> When you live on a farm, you have a lot of things kind of sprinkled around the yard. Because you never know when you're going to have to climb up on the roof, fix a hole. Sorry, I was sprinkling that one with salt. Let's do a couple more. Um, definitely the Distress Ink and the Color Burst went so much quicker. Oh, I love that. I'm going to leave it. Let's just focus on this side. Let's just do another green. I love green, so it's not, you know, something I would never use. Do you hear that? That's the metal lark, if you can hear that. I'm singing. That's Clint's favorite bird. But yeah, I'm trying to get good enough so I can, you know, do some photos and stuff. Not photo, not 
necessarily not portraits but because I like critters more than I you know like landscapes or pictures or anything so leave that here like that let me see if I can pull this one off on it Let's see how dry it is oh, it's getting pretty dry can scooch it over But I thought it'd be really cool to do like some bird pictures for Clint because he loves things like that. And if I do them, it'll be more special, you know. So we're actually fixing to do portraits in her class. And I'm not so sure about them. <laughs> I was thinking if it just looks like a person, I'll be happy. But I will put a link below if you're interested in learning more about drawing and things like that, you know. Let's see if I can find a rock. Okay. Still not super windy out yet, but it is getting there. Look at all the color here. Isn't that cool? It's supposed to really be windy about 11 o'clock through the afternoon. So, And I have some orders and stuff I need to get in the mail not bad let's put may as well use up all my paint that I squeezed out because you know you know put purple and you know what if you don't like these for an actual page in your journal and think about using them as a um, um, collage pieces you know <laughs> rip them up sometimes they look better that way <laughs> true story so I want some darker colors because they will dry back these are watercolors so they will meaning that as they dry they'll get lighter so just kind of have fun with what you're doing that's kind of fun so this might be the perfect shade I don't know you know it's kind of like um, Keep playing and see what you can come up with. Let me look over here. This is dry. Okay. And then we'll set this one over here. Sprinkle it with salt. I really like that salt. Thing. Fun. Add some interest for sure. <clears throat> starting to pick up. It actually feels good though because it's so um, arid right now. It's really really kind of hot and I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> we went from snow last week to <laughs> I don't know. Did we have snow last week? I know it was too cold to wear shorts and when we came out this morning it was I had shorts on and I had to go put sweats on because that was way too cold. So I'm just going to kind of just mess around. Like I said, I want to kind of use up this paint. So if you, if you are doing watercolors, this would be a perfect use of, you know, your spare paint. Even if you just kind of scribble it on a page. Because after putting some layers and stuff on that page, you'll love it. Most likely. <laughs> but it's just a fun way to use up. Um some colors you know put some yellow in there just a couple more pages guys sorry this has been so painful <laughs> but I'm having fun and I guess that's the most important part huh plus I needed really to do something that I didn't have to think too much of about you know um, just because I do have that headache and see how Spray in the water, it really loosens it. So, where are we going to put this one? I don't know, Michelle. Where are you going to put that one? Um, there's a wood pile over here. Okay. Let's see. Where am I going to put you? I guess I can stack it up over here, maybe. Oh, here's one. 
there's a spot down here. If I keep that water on it, of course, then I can put salt. It's just the more water you have. I mean, you don't want it like really, really puddled. You just want it pretty damp, pretty um, saturated with water. But you don't want it like sitting in a, you know, thing of water. And it'll just soak that up. In fact, we have one that's almost dry. I'm going to let it dry for a few more minutes. And I'll show you guys that. And then, of course, at the very end of the video, I will um, show you all of them. Let's see what do we have on that side. Not too bad. I really like that design, though. Isn't that fun? Okay, what do we have? We still have like a the vermilion or whatever is that vermilion Russian blue I guess is what that one is sorry had to read so but I think it goes pretty good with the green and the yellow so one thing I have learned about Lindsay I know I keep talking about it but that's kind of what I'm doing right now is um, some yellows mixed with some greens will be like a really dull and some will be really bright so you know like this one it felt like it really kind of um took took down the brightness of the yellow which isn't a horrible thing it might not be a good thing but it's not a you know i'm done with this kind of thing it's just depending on the color you want the the brightness and stuff you need to kind of learn those colors because I just play. <laughs> I don't really, uh, you know, I teach myself most things that I do. Like how to do YouTube and how to make, you know, rubber stamps, which I've done. Things like that. You know what? I was going to flip that, but I'm not going to, I guess. Huh? Okay, one more. We have room for a couple more, right? There's one over here. Sorry, guys. This is a concrete cistern over there. Over there. <laughs> and uh, so the concrete kind of warms up and I think it's drying my papers quicker, which is nice. Our house was built in 1927 and it was actually moved here from a different homestead. So we find all kinds of interesting things like when we garden or something, it's really cool. Okay, guys, we're going to try to use up the rest of this paint. Of course, I didn't spray it. But we'll see. Maybe I'll leave that and kind of let it dissolve. Just kind of see. I don't want it to be too uh, muddy looking. So I'm going to kind of try not to mix it too much, you know. Still not perfect on my colors my color wheels I don't really know know the green and the red made mud so definitely a fun way to uh, to learn your colors and stuff isn't it I'm out of salt now so unless I go get some more and I think I'm so so close to being done I'm not gonna stress about it let's put some yellow I know yellow and red go well because it turns, you know, turns it orange, yellow and blue, turns it green, so that will work, right? Purple, I don't think will hit the mix. Okay, so there's green, which is fine. Um, the green and blue kind of, or the, yeah, yellow and blue make green thinking out loud to myself. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? You can see the mud. Really muddy, really brown. Okay, let me grab my towel. Soak it up. Just the, color, the places I don't like. And I kind of like that texture. You know what? We're going to leave this one here, I think. Just let it kind of sit and do its thing. We've pretty much used up the paint that I squeezed out. 
got some watercolor. The good thing about this is it's metal, so I can just spray it down and it'll be fine. Right? Right. Um, let me grab that one that I think is about dry. Okay, be nice. Sorry, the cats are getting in the fight. But here is the, uh, the salt. So I don't know if you can really see it here. Where's my thumb? Okay, here's the salt. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'll scrape all these off. I'm going to iron them because they kind of wrinkled in the wind. And then we will um, check them out. We'll go inside and check them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in a minute. Hi there. We're back. Um, the papers have dried and I removed all the salt and it made a huge mess. <laughs> Got it all over my sewing machine. I did. I put down my mat and then I scraped all the salt off using an old credit card. And that worked really well, but you know, it was like splattering everywhere. I wiped a sewing machine off, kind of. And, um, uh, but let's look at these. These were just watercolors. They were just some old, cheaper watercolors that I've had in my stash for a while. So it'd be kind of nice to use them up. And yeah, let's just kind of see what we have. This, it looks like, is the back side. It's really pale pink. But look at the edges. I love the edges. I think they're awesome. And then here's the... I remember this one. I think this was the very last one I did. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to use up all my watercolors in the little palette. And I had big old clumps of color that were just stuck so what I did is I let it dry and then I scraped those off but that turned out really pretty and there's 20 here so um, when I did these videos I did them you know both in the same day and we ended up with about 50 sheets in less than an hour so it wasn't a horrible time you know it was just no just over an hour <laughs> Ooh, I love that this is where I was kind of, you know, thinking about half and half. Of course, you guys probably already know that, but I'm trying to remember for myself because you just watched the video. <laughs> but that's really fun. And then just a little bit of texture on the back. That's fun. Um, one thing I was going to show you guys on this one is you can kind of see some of the texture from the salt. See those little divots and stuff? That's all from the salt. So it did give us another layer of texture. I think is really cool. So and then it just the salt soaks up some of the pigment and just kind of makes like little dimples and stuff. That's really a fun. It was a really fun technique. The colors I don't feel like are as bright as you know the other ones. This one. I have it in the watercolor set. Yeah, it is. It's got the stripes, stripes and stuff. It looks a lot like the um, the uh, color burst, kind of. But that was really fun, too. That's really pretty. I like to see, like, the end result. But look at this one. I must have moved it, like, three times or something. Because as I would shift... You know, I'd look into my uh, camera finder and it wouldn't line up, so I pick it up and I move it. And I must have done that twice because it looks like there's three, three different lines, which is really a cool technique. That was really fun. And right. then this, and again, you can see where I had the salt. Just a fun technique. Um, you could, I think, you could easily write on this. It's not like super. Um, textured or anything I think that would work really nice to go ahead and, and write on it there's still a little bit of salt and stuff but as I use them and stuff all that will flake off you know that's pretty I'm gonna set that aside this one is I think one of the first ones I did on this set still feels yeah but you know like I said if there is a page that you really don't like then just think, you know, cut it up, use it for collages, you know, or a layering technique, you know, you don't have to, the, the back's really pretty, you don't have to um, use it as a full page, but, you know, that might be the look you're going for, so, 
This one was really fun. This one looks kind of like um, Easter. I always feel like the bright colors and stuff are like Easter or like spring. And there's the pink. That's pretty. That was a fun one. This is my favorite part. I mean, I enjoy just kind of spraying, not thinking about it, but um, it's a lot of work. If you're not used to standing and I was hurting so bad afterwards, <laughs> it's one reason I don't tend to coffee dye because we just do so much. But I think I might take some coffee and kind of do the same thing. But look at this design down here. You know, you just never know what you're going to turn up with. It might be um, something awesome, or like Clint says, it might be crap. <laughs> That's why it's called a craft shoot. That's why it's called a craft shoot. <laughs> so you never know. Ooh, look at that one. That one's really cool, hun. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's almost like you're looking through a... Um, lattice fence yeah that's really cool I love that okay put that over there <laughs> but yeah it's just really it was fun and you know I'm using up stuff and you know since you guys just now saw the video then um, you know some of my paint my paints had dried up so it's definitely something you want to you know, go through your craft supplies, especially in this time if you're still on safe at home or safer at home. You know, and maybe use up some of your craft supplies and have fun. Make a mess. You know, like I was talking about earlier, you know, send your kids outside. Give them some paper. <laughs> they might come up with something awesome. You never know. Heck yeah. I love this green. I love green anyways, but this would be fun. And it did rip. I think I mentioned that on the video. But, you know, that's not going to bother me. I could either just trim that off and have just a slightly shorter page or keep it, you know, just really, really fun. I did have fun. I really enjoy this. It was a blast. So maybe, in you know, in the near future. And if Clint's there or maybe... I need to find me a chair or something, but my back was like spasming right in the middle of my I back from doing this. And took out my uh, stool. Yeah, maybe next time I'll do like a chair or something. The bad thing is, is you have to kind of keep getting up to find a place to put them. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. when well, you're done. <laughs> Here, honey, put this over there. <laughs> but, and I think we have like a big old table that we could work on too. We do. That big fold-out table yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. six foot, that would be nice to work out, especially if we're doing jelly jelly plating, because um, you don't want to really um, like stack them on top of each other until they're dry, so you kind of need, ooh, I love that. So these are fun. I enjoy this. You know, it was just a fun day, and I would love to go back out with maybe some spray bottles full of, maybe I'll get some online but spray bottles full of different coffees different teas um you know the distress inks and then just have have a fun day i think it'd be fun to kind of like layer them you know just like a huge thing kind of like half and half or something and just go down the whole thing and just kind of <laughs> spray i don't know we'll have to mess around with it i think it'll be really fun and then Clint did iron these for me. Uh, it really helps them. I think it just makes them look crisper and neater. So that one's really fun. I like that. But you could totally skip that. You don't have to iron them. It's just whatever you want to go for. Um, but he did, like, especially with the color burst, you want to make sure you're protecting your ironing surface as well as on top, you know, your iron because the color burst still um, will splash color. That's so it, it, it's, it doesn't like totally dissolve and so it will, you know, color will still get all over the bottom of your iron. But we were aware of that because, you know, we've experienced that before. So he got a little bit of color on his pressing cloth and stuff, but it wasn't bad. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's fun. It's that. just really light and kind of, kind of fun.
that's kind of fun that's I mean there's nothing much to it I think it was just yellow like I said I think I was just using up some of some of my colors and then here's a purple one which I think I'll send to my friend Lorette it's nothing nothing special Lorette but maybe you can find a way to use it she's doing a um, purple journal and then this one I love how it kind of moves. It probably did that when I was shifting or lifting it up to move it. That's kind of fun too, though. So I think they were a great success, and like I said, it was a lot of fun. And a while while ago, I had Clint um, pick up like a a box of papers, and they're like what six reams in it, and there's 500 sheets of reams. So we have like. 3,000 oh, yeah. sheets of paper. We don't have all that left, but we have a huge amount of it left. Yeah, we're not hurting for paper. <laughs> no, we're fine. We can just kind of, you know, we just use typical, just, um, what am I just thinking? Copy just paper. copy paper. It's nothing, nothing special. Um, I did use some canvas paper or what was it called? Some, no, it was some, um, parchment paper. I did grab some of that. I used that in yesterday's video and they work just fine. So whatever you want to do. The copy paper is a little bit thinner and so sometimes it'll seep through which is fine. You know. You get beautiful colors. I think this was my favorite. <laughs> so I hope this got this inspired you guys and um, yeah we'll be using some of these in the watercolor journal coming up soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And thanks for using. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.